I was a third string dream on a second place team. I was hell on wheels with a full head of steam coach for me. And I still remember that hit. Hey everybody, this is Derek. So today I'm going to teach you how to play Does to Me by Luke Combs uh, featuring Eric Church. It's a pretty fun song to play. Um, it's a little difficult only because of the the chord changes, they're, they're pretty uh, rapid. But nonetheless, it's a fun song to play and I think it's relatively uh, beginner friendly. So let's jump into it. So the chords for the song are gonna be a C, an F, a G, and an A minor. There's also kind of a walk down um, in the chorus from a C to that A minor, um, but we'll get to that. So for the verse, you start out on the C, you go to the F, you go back to the C, then you go to the G, to the A minor, to the F, to the G, and back to the C. I know that that's a lot compared to a lot of other songs that I've done. So I would say the biggest thing, you know, in when learning the song is make sure that you take your time, rewind the video, get down that, that chord progression. Um, it took me a little bit, you know, just to, to learn the song too because of how many changes there are. So just make sure you have down that progression. If you got that down, the strumming pattern for the song is... Uh, kind of the same throughout the whole song. Um, so it goes something like this. So what I'm doing there is I'm going, um, starting on the C, you go down, down, up, up, down, up, down, switch to the F, down, down, up, up, down, up, 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 down, down, up, down, down, up, down. So it changes up at the end there a little bit when you come out of this A minor, because then it goes back to the F, to the G, and then back to the C. Um, I know that's probably very quick, so just, again, rewind the video. Take your time. Um, this is kind of a more chord uh, progression intensive song, so it's, it, it'll take some time. So really that's the verse. Um, the second part of the verse is pretty similar. Um, so it goes, uh, I was the last resort to go to prom with the queen. Thanks to that poor friend that broke her heart that we No, I didn't get lucky, but I still felt like a king. The difference between the first part of the verse and the second part of the verse is instead of going to the C at, out of the break there, he goes back to the A minor. So, but I still feel like a king. In the first part, we went F to G to C. The second part of the verse, you go F to G to A minor. That might not be much to you, but it does to me. And then you're into the chorus. So in the chorus, the chord progression starts on the F, goes to the G, goes to, from the G to the C, and then to that walk down. So G, or sorry, C, down to the A minor. That walk down, all you're doing is the C, you take this finger off, put your middle finger on this uh, fifth string second fret and then to the A minor, so. So, uh, what it kind of sounds like is, So say I'm a middle of the road, not much to show, underachieving every stroke. I'm a hell of a lover, a damn good brother, and I wear my heart on my sleeve. There might not be much to you, but it does. 
So I'm not gonna belt this song just because I don't want to blow out the mic. But the strumming pattern is you could use the same one as the as the verse in the chord progression. Switches up a little bit, um, you know, it goes from F to G to C, walk down, A minor. I'm a hill of a lover, a damn good brother, and I wear my heart on my sleeve. I might not mean much to you, but it does to me. And honestly, guys, that's the whole song. You play the verses like we went over. I, the verse is harder than the chorus, so I think the verse is going to take a little more time to get down. But once you have that down, it's a pretty fun song, you know, similar strumming pattern throughout the whole song. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, comments, please put them in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.